What's up everybody, a Spirit with a Gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and I'm back on Starbound today. Um, I'm starting this off, this is going to be a little bit of a trial episode because I'm not sure if there's still a demand for this game or not um, with my channel, but um, today, I hope I can get this video out today, I am going to be like recording other things while I'm trying to render it and all that kind of stuff, so that's going to be tough, but I really wanted to get it out today because today, well, I say today. If it didn't come out today, it won't be today. But Friday, July 22nd, was the official release date of Starbound. So I really wanted to kind of reboot the series, try again now that it's kind of quote-unquote done, even though they've said they're going to keep working on it and things. I uh, haven't played it in a long time, so there's been a couple of updates that I haven't really messed with. There was a whole mess of changes to combat and some other things. Um, and that was the last video I believe they made, but that doesn't include whatever changes they made in the 1.0 patch for, um, the launch. So without further ado, let's get going. This is my, I went ahead and took the time to do the character creation because that takes me a minute. Um, I did the random, I love doing the random names. I, I don't like naming my own characters anymore in this game. I just love randomizing it. So we have Orion, which I thought was a cool, cool name. Um, we're set at first survival because I didn't want to go hardcore and do the, uh, well, literally the hardcore one. Um, but survival gives us a little bit of diversity in our, um, objectives as far as we have to think about food and farming and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but like I said, I haven't played it in a long time, so I don't really know how it works. Wake up. This is new. You have overslept. I did pick a human this time, in case that wasn't obvious to people. Wow, this is new. What? To interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E. If you are awake enough to do so. <laughs> oh, nope, that's a bed. Nope, still bed. Oh, okay, we get that little hover. So, I am going back through because... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, because I really haven't played it in so long. I don't even remember the controls and stuff. Nice. Definitely a full-on release game and no longer an early access. You can get on the toilet. Remember, you can open a door by hovering over it. Yeah, you just told us that. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It is quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you are running so late. Well done, you. <laughs> All right, have you a moment to chat? I don't know. Apparently, I am very late. Graduation flyer. This flyer commemorates the Protectorate's graduation ceremony. Okay. Um, are these in... Standard issue uniform for all members of the Ter Terran Protectorate. So these aren't um, armor armor, so we're just going to put it in the vanity slot, I guess. So, soon you'll be a real protector with your very own matter, matter, hey, manipulator, and can disassemble all kinds of things. Stop it! If you get assigned to some distant world, don't forget to do all the. Mm hmm. Must be exciting. Ah, that's the rest of what he said. No trash can? Okay. Um, where am I supposed to go? Information. Talk to me for handy tips. Press I to open your inventory. Q will let you drop items you're holding. N to toggle scan mode and inspect objects. Control to move your camera around. Tap it again to reset. Always listen to Sail, your personal assistant. Press Enter to read Sail messages again and chat to party members. If you get stuck, open your quest log with J. Spacebar to hop, hold it to jump. Oh! I just totally realized the HUD is completely different! Okay, well this isn't over here, but like this is different. These used to be all numbered hotbars. And there was never this orange thing. And by the way, I don't know... I usually leave... The, um, the setting off. I should probably check that at some point, but I don't know if you guys can see my cursor or not. I hope you can. If not, um, like I said, at some point when I get to a uh, pause point, like right there, <laughs> uh, I did check and you can see it, so that's cool. Ooh! 
Weary every day, more petals to sweep. Yeah, being a street sweeper with a tree like that does not sound like it would be fun. Sit with me for a moment and let us enjoy these beautiful blossoms. I would, but apparently I am so freaking late. Wow. No, that's not happening. Um, I thought that would just be a flower, not a head where nothing is ever really lost to us as long as we remember it. Okay. Ceremony's gonna start in a minute. I know, I'm late! Eager, my very own manager manipulator. I figuratively cannot wait. I think that's what he said. I probably, they probably should have extended the dialogue time out a little longer. Not many Florins become protectors. That's true, I thought this was supposed to be just a human thing. I was wondering if you were going up to the show or not. Um, well, yeah. This is crazy! There's like a whole big mission to this now. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years we have stooped, stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Our task? To protect our fellow beings, to support house... To support house, okay. And educate those that seek our aid, and to foster accord between... The, the, mm -hmm. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compatriots, and present them each with our greatest tool. The matter manip... Huh? What was that? Ah! We're all gonna die! What? What? The... Ah, we're all gonna die! <laughs> you, graduate, take the matter manipulator and run! <laughs> it's not safe to remain here. Please take the matter manipulator. You must proceed to the shuttle pod. Hey, now I can run. Nice. Obtained. Oh, okay. It's a pickaxe. Manipulates anything quickly. Sl quick select with R. Okay, how do I deselect? Oh, I guess you just click off of it with a different button. Well, this seems interesting. It appears the ceiling has collapsed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. Press the R to equip it, then click and hold the pile of dirt to begin digging through it. Aye, aye, one Capitan. Um, well, that was. Are they talking about, they talking about this? Because, uh, it doesn't look very collapsed to me. I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do, but that's what we're doing. Scan show the room beyond. This door has flooded. It would be best to not go in. I advise you find a way over it. Use spacebar to jump up higher platforms. Or I could just open the door, right? No? Actually, you can't. Because I just tried. Wondering if there are any like secret things or anything. The scale of this disaster is immeasurable. The destruction occurring is beyond my capacity to quantify. You must leave this planet immediately. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. To jump down from platform. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for explaining that. Oh, that's weird. I put the stuff in my hot bar there. Still wondering if there's a way to like deselect. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, I just, just clicked on an empty one. Never mind. Scratch that. And I'll probably do some skipping a little bit. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to clear this. I'll probably do some skipping when we get back into more of the starting grind kind of thing. Um, but this stuff is all interesting and kind of sets everything up, so I wanted to show that. Chesting the on the conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Arm yourself! Again, don't have to tell me twice. Um, where do I put it? Oh, okay. I didn't really read this. Damage. Special is spin slash, so there's specials now. Access a weapon with ease by placing it on one of the action bar slots at the top of the screen, then pressing the corresponding number key to equip or unequip it. Okay. Did that. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
I'll change the UI a little bit. I have bypassed the pre-flight checks. Get aboard! No, it's, but, but stuff, dude. No, there's a chest over there! Dang nabbit. It's like, uh, Transformers. Leave Cybertron! That's actually a really, a way more, like, advanced version of how the game used to start, for any of you that remember the old version. Hey, I have a cat! Yay, I guess. <laughs> Reboot process remains uninitiated. Rebooting. I am Sale, your ship-based artificial intelligence lattice. I'm also programmed to offer you information and advice. By the way, I don't know if that actually meant lattice or not. Earth was attacked by an unknown force and was subsequently annihilated. The ship's navigation systems were damaged in our escape. Our location is currently unknown. Okay, then. Well, there's that. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so... Let's see here. We are currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a meaning a means of fixing the ship. Reward is a reward bag. Use this to open and reveal its contents. How exciting! Yay. Okay. So we can't access any of that stuff. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we have a handy-dandy flashlight. Canned food. Extremely well preserved. I'm gonna leave this here, I think. Where did my dirt and stuff go? Oh, here it is. I was gonna say. Sod and dirt. Let's put you there, I guess. Oh, okay. There's, like, tabs for different things. Um, let's go ahead and put these in here. And I'm gonna take the torches. And put them there. I know it's already got stuff for places. Or places for stuff, rather. But I just don't really care. Beam down. Beam down. <laughs> Do it. Ooh, we get like a cool animation now. Kiat's Rim 8 or 7. Is that 7 or 8? I don't know. Cotton fiber. Okay. Oh, ow! Been here for five seconds. Already getting attacked. I don't know what this down here is though, because it's not at full anymore. Is that hunger maybe? And this is energy and that's health? Well, I mean, the health is fairly obvious. You discovered some plant fiber. This can be woven into useful fabrics at a spinning wheel. Why, thank you. And we got a Shade Co. Terror Bodkin. Mm-hmm. 3.3 damage per swing, 2.7. So the... Eh, we're gonna take it, obviously. Actually, we'll put that on our... Um, flashlight combo. What is this? Upgrade module. These modules can be used to upgrade ships and other useful equipment. Interesting. That's new. You discovered some ore, or can be turned into bars using a furnace. Bars can be... Bars are useful for crafting a wide range of stuff that I didn't get to read, because I was going slow. <clears throat> can I take the chest? And the plant? Pearl pea seed. You say that you've discovered some seeds. I suggest planting some in some tilled soil and watering them until they grow. I didn't read the rest of that because it's going too fast. Yeah, and this way we'll have. Ooh, okay. That way we'll have a little bit of defense. discovered coal. You can turn coal into torches to light your way. The chances or chance of fatal incident is dramatically increased in the dark. Explore the crafting menu. Crafting menu? I haven't even found the crafting menu yet. Wow, it's getting dark already. Crap. 
Uh, what about this? Quests. Okay, we saw that. Beam up. Upgrade. Ooh! Hello! I don't know what some of this stuff does. Manipulate what matters on your matter manipulator. Ha 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 ha. Manipulator modules. Select an upgrade. Okay, I really probably... Oh, here's crafting. Okay. Campfire. Wood. Log. Which I don't have. Inventor's table. The inventor's table is used to produce various crafting situ stations. Okay. Um, well, it decided it wanted to get dark all of a sudden. Tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to chop down this tree. You found some wood. My databanks tell me wood is a material with a great many uses. I suggest you kill additional trees and explore your crafting menu. Yeah, I want to gather up some wood here. Though it isn't... I don't know if this is just this planet. Because with the random generated stuff, it's always hard to tell. Um, but it could be the reason that it's not super dark. could just be that um, that's a development choice so that you can kind of still see what you're doing. Because in the, in the first part of the game, like when it was in beta and alpha and all that kind of stuff, um, it was really, like, when it got dark, it got dark. Like, the, the flashlight was your cone of vision kind of deal. Um, let's see here. Does this still work? Yeah, left click is for foreground, right click is for background. Okay. I'm really suspecting that yellowish bar is going to be your hunger bar. I'm really thinking. Now, let me see if I beam up. Oh. Up and then down. Hey, what happens if I, um... Dude, cat, go away. Get off my teleporter. That's weird. It's like it goes up and then down all the time. It's kind of funny. Let's clear this out a little bit. And what is that? Five. Okay. We're going to put a torch there and a torch there. That's our landing zone. Just so we can tell what our landing zone is. Aha! Success. Um, but while I'm tinkering around in the crafting menu, I am going to go up to my base up here. Because I'd like to... Ship thrusters are currently offline. Teleportation system is functioning correctly. Currently, only the planet below is accessible. Missions. No missions. Crew. You are the only registered crew member of this ship. Recruiting additional crew members may allow for increased operational efficiency. I don't know if that's talking about, like, NPCs or if that's talking about, um, like, multiplayer. I'm not really sure what that is. Codex. Uh, human. We have no codex entries, I guess. I'm pretty sure this stuff was kind of covered already. Never been down to a planet you don't recognize. <laughs> That's funny. Always wear your Terran Protectorate issued uniform. Help others in need. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not really what I was crafting. There we go. This is what we were looking at. So timber. I need wooden log and timber to make an inventor's table. Campfire. We have what we need. Timber is wood log. Go figure. How many of those do I need? Twelve. All right. So let's make an inventor's table. Oh, it takes time. That's interesting and new. Did you just craft an inventor's table? I estimate your chances of survival have improved by 7.2%. Why, thank you. Sav is made from plant fiber, restores 50 health over 10 seconds. Cool. Human flag. I wonder if they've actually added any... The flag of the protector. Use E to bookmark a teleportation location. Ah! So that's what it is. You actually can log... Um... You can actually bookmark the planet. That's cool. What is this? Living root. A severed piece of evolved plant matter can be used for crafting. Hmm. That's new. 
Okay, food. We have seeds. I don't see that we have any food. Uh, tree saplings, what storage. Let's go ahead and put you right there for now, because why not? All right, anvil can be used to produce armor, weapons, blah, 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 blah. Forging table, or foraging table, used to produce items for hunting, mining, and farming. That's probably a good idea. Primitive furnace, spinning wheel, wooden workbench. Can be used to produce materials and objects needed to build a settlement. Hmm, okay. So this is stone, wood, timber. Timber, stone, rope. Mud. Sure, why not? Timber and wood. Iron bar. Okay, so we're going to need the furnace to make iron before we can make an anvil. That makes sense. Oh, and then you can upgrade the table. Huh. So these are the kinds of things that they've changed that I'm still getting used to because I haven't played it in so long. Um, tell you what I'm going to do, though, since I'm just going to be out gathering some stuff and maybe crafting some new um, tables, but probably not getting into crafting stuff yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second and do some investigatory type things. Okay, so we just got our first notification about hunger. I was correct. That is the hunger bar. I didn't get a chance to read that, though. I guess we'll just use one of these for now, because I really don't have any other food. Um... Oh, that's weird. Torches require both hands. Interesting. Alright. So that staves that off for now. So we'll have to deal with farming stuff relatively quickly to get our food going, because that didn't take very long. Okay, so I'm down here on the planet. I just got another message about um, an archaic energy source. Which probably can't be good. It's probably a temple or something, actually, but... Um, yeah, I keep trying to, like, save some time and not do some of the more redundant stuff, but I may just end up making this episode kind of a long episode, because every time I walk, like, five feet, there's some kind of tutorial thing that comes up. I mean, granted, we are just starting the game out, so that kind of makes sense. Wow, that's taking forever. I don't know exactly how to find... Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind. I was gonna say, I don't know how to find mud, but that looks like mud. That's mud. And I actually need mud for the, um... I was expecting I'd have to find a water source or something first, but I guess not. Okay, because food is definitely gonna be a thing. Yellow petal... And one interesting thing is it doesn't seem like I can eat the, um, unintended foods. What are you guys? Can I do anything with you? Looks like snails. Um, and what I mean by that... Let's just go ahead and chop this tree down. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized the quest thing up in the top right corner is giving me, like, a compass type thing. I wonder if that's just a visual thing, or if it's actually pointing me in the right direction. Uh, one other thing they've seemed to have done is they've added some stuff like bugs and nets and things that you can do to catch these bugs and stuff like that. Whoops! Didn't really think that would work. <laughs> um, so I'm imagining these bugs and things will probably be stuff that you can do stuff with. There is something in the uh, foraging table called a like moth trap or something like that. Because apparently you can set that out and get moths and they make silks. Which I was like, that's kind of a interesting thing. I don't think we need too much more coal though for now. Is that wheat and corn? That I need. Because that's stuff I can eat. I am collecting some of the petals just right off the bat here because, um... Ow! You hit me harder than I thought. 
that a grave? Well, that's comforting. Engraved tombstone. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, let's see here. The reason, though, that I was saying... Actually, what was I saying? Wow, I got a little distracted there. Now I don't even remember what I was talking about. Never mind. I was going to come back to a point I was going to make, and now I don't remember what it was. Go me. Alright. Yeah, that thing up in the corner is kind of doing a compass, isn't it? That's cool. Ow! Stop it! Ow! That thing doesn't have much of a reach on it, does it? Oop! I don't think I have red yet. Oh, the dyes! Um, that's what I was talking about. I'm, I am trying to collect... <clears throat> excuse me. I am trying to collect some of the basic dyes to begin with. Uh, I don't like those things either. Half the time they killed me more than they helped me in the original, or in the beta and stuff. Um, whoa! See how, are those music notes or bugs coming off of him? They kind of look like music notes. Alright, you're not going to leave me alone. Oh, jeez! Wow, he was not a happy camper. And now neither am I. Oh, here we go. What are you? What? Oh, this is one of those Stargate things. My scans are picking up an unknown radio signal around the. Okay, yep. Yeah. If you picked up this message, you must have found an ancient gateway. Please use it to come and find me. You can power up the gateway with a core fragments. I have scanned for nearby core fragments. They appear naturally within the geology of this planet. Readings suggest nearby numerous ore clusters deep below the ground near the planet's center. Okay then. Well, that was new and unexpected, and I'm totally about to die. Might want to work back. But then I just found this. You know what? Let's just go to our main weapon because be more effective. Is there anything... Well, there's that. I'm gonna take that. And there's that. Which, now I don't need to make a campfire. You've discovered fire. My databanks tell me you're the 714th billion person to do so. <laughs> I do love some of the humor in this game. Uh-oh. Are you stuck? Tell me you're stuck. Oh, I got him unstuck. New. Wait, how did I do that double stab thing? Wait, there's some new things to combat here that I didn't know about. I need a projectile weapon, like a bow. Ah! Oh, we got leather. Seems like that would come in handy. Whoa! No, 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 no! No! Yeah, it's like if you keep spamming it fast enough, you get like a multi-hit thing. Ooh, we're gonna need copper, too. Alright. Probably should head back. I don't know how- if they've changed anything with the, um... P. Risotto. Why is that... Why does that make any sense, though? Because I can't seem to get the Pearl P itself. I really don't want to fight one of these things. Ooh! You know what? I forgot. We're playing Starbound. Haha! Uh -huh. Crisis averted. There we go. Finally got some pearl peas. So maybe you can eat them, and I just hadn't been getting 
the actual fruit or something. Maybe that's what's going on. Wow, I am so not in... <laughs> pardon my... so not in good health. Oh no, I'm out of plant stuff. That's not cool. there and see if we can nope crap whoa too far dang nabbit curse you floaty physics I know I know I could just dig my way through it's just the principle of the thing I do wonder where I get the um, module upgrades from for the matter manipulator. There we go. Only took me all night. <laughs> okay, I think I want to. Ow! Well, yeah, we should totally leave now. Um, I want to say I probably... Well, music change. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually... Nope. Nope. Crap. Dagnabbit. <laughs> Dagnabbit. I was trying to click the beam button, too. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Alright, let me go back and get my stuff. Or see what stuff I can get. And then we'll come back and see if we can actually improve stuff. Okay, so we are a bit more set up, I think. Um, at the moment, I had this guy here, the workbench, but I don't really know how much I'm going to keep it here because I don't really need it all that much inside the base. I'll probably need it more on the ground of the planet to make a more established base. This is basically all your building stuff, your um, paneling and roofing and you know different stuff like that. I mean, you could probably just make a makeshift house out of just blocks, but that's probably the nicer way to do it. Uh, so for now, I'm going to put my spinning wheel back, because that'll let me make um, threads and strings and fabric and all that kind of stuff. You've got shirts and regular clothes and stuff, but they don't really do anything. Uh, then there's the die, which is interesting, because now they've added the component of... Um, empty an empty bottle which you can use or you can make in the furnace by smelting sand into glass and then glass into an empty bottle so that's kind of cool uh, there's also clay a medical syringe which I'm assuming you can use to make health kits instead of like the salve paper which I don't think we have a use for yet and volatile powder which is made from core fragments uh, and then of course we have our typical Copper, gold, iron, silver, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I haven't read the description on these, though. Or for copper bars is found at shallow depths on most planets. Gold is at great depths. Iron is primarily found on planets orbiting gentle stars. Interesting. Silver, moderate depths on most planets. Tungsten is primarily found on planets orbiting gentle stars. Hmm. So now there's like star types and uh, as well as depth. That's interesting. Um, in the foraging table, you can make stuff like the hoe, the wooden water can. There's a dyed one, but I don't know what it does differently. Scarecrow, which doesn't sound like it does anything. The moth trap was what I referred to earlier, where you can attract moths and the moths produce silk. So it's kind of like bees, I guess, in the feed the beast type stuff. Uh, bug net which we could probably make, actually. That might be a good thing to have. Hunting bow would probably be a good thing to have. Uh, harvest meat and other goods from monsters. Tungsten hunting bow. We don't have tungsten yet. Hunting spear. Then you got, like, the explorer's lantern, but we don't have oil. Lantern on a stick. Mining helmet. Um, stuff like that, which is cool. 
and yeah that pretty much covers what we have and I went ahead and I always mess this up that in I always think these are stairs but it's wooden platforms they do require plant fiber now though so keep that in mind uh, but I built a few I, bu I built a little stairway up here because of the uh, in inventors table it was too high um, now here's something interesting the ground that's dark has been watered by the watering can that I have but it looks like every growth phase of the plant you then have to go back and water them because you'll notice these grew up um, a phase by the looks of things and now need to be watered again so that's kind of interesting um, as far as I know it doesn't have a like you need to go collect water because I just kind of crafted this and it just does its thing and the hoe pretty much works like a minecraft hoe nothing really uh, interesting there so let's see let's make some more timber how much I have 25 more logs which should be fine string we got plenty of that just make a few more of those um where was the oh foraging that's right so hunting bow i need more string for the other one you've obtained a bow overcoming a monster with one of these significantly increases your chance of getting meat and rare crafting ingredients okay this requires 10 string i should have enough to make that yeah we can do 22 just do the 10 for now though I do think I already have two so let's stop it there yes okay so we have a bug net now okay so and I I'm, I'm in love with the new um, inventory system like it shows you a little plus sign when you, if you have new items when you click it you'll get this little pulse like once or twice and then they usually just go away and it's I hate having to go through and like mark something as as found or whatever like you do in every game it's really annoying uh, the only thing I did notice about food is it seems to be significantly um, how do I put this like didn't I pick up a f campfire by the way where did that go um, anyways yeah I have the tent but I don't see the campfire anywhere where did that go that's weird it just straight up poofed I guess well, that's no fun um, I didn't try and cook anything so far but I imagine that you'll get more um, like resources out of it I guess not it. well here we go like boiled rice light and fluffy baked potato boiled pearl peas so yeah even just the basic ingredients you can cook uh, like corn can turn into popcorn tomato carrot okay because I was like man I ate all of them raw I didn't think to cook them and it was one of those like uh this is gonna kind of put a damper on things if that's the most I can do let's see okay so yeah that's significantly more improved oh here's my bug net okay I clicked on the wrong button So yeah, I don't know if that other watering can or something will do, I don't know, like uh, some kind of, hey, you can not have to water these as often or something to that effect or not, or if it's just a, uh, just for the, the heck of it type of thing. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's go back down real quick though. And we're going to do a couple of things. A, I'm going to kind of secure this area a bit more. Now, I don't know if... Okay, I can still beam, so it has to do with the backing, I guess. 
not the not the foreground. Which is good to know. Eh. Alright, yeah. Be go and get going. Alright, so first off what I'm gonna basically do here is just set up a little camp area type thingy. Nothing real crazy or whatnot, just kind of so I can have a bit more room, because I honestly don't know how long this is going to take to get um, past this kind of point, like down to the core and all that. Considering that they've changed so much about the game, I don't really know what the average time to get off the first planet is going to end up being. So... Want to be it because I like the tent things because we won't have to waste all of our plant fiber on med kits. I can save those for like emergencies or something, but we'll be able to heal up here. I don't have room for it on my ship, or I would leave it there. Um, and I'd also like to put my table down here so that we can work on building like doors and other stuff. I need more timber for a door. Let's make a couple of these, actually. How many of these can I make? Let's do five. Uh, let's do ten of these. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Alright, so let's go wooden door. Not very secure, not very secure. And I'm not entirely sure what that kind of stuff means. Like, can certain mobs break through it or something? Or... I don't know how they've changed some of that mechanic stuff yet. I'm looking forward to finding out, but I don't know. Okay. So, let's add one spot there. Boom. Now, I would imagine... Let me test my theory here. Yeah. Okay, so if you have backing above your head level then it will assume you can't leave then, I guess. Now, here's another interesting one I want to try. Okay, so it's not... Okay, so right there... Wait, why can't I get, I can't get rid of that? Oh, it's because I'm not on the matter manipulator. I'm on the build. Duh. Okay. Okay, so it's that section right there. Actually. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just kind of playing around. I don't really know that I need to be this precise about anything. Okay, so it's that section right there. It's basically under your chin. It's like your chin level. So what I'm gonna do is all of this, I'm just gonna leave a line there, and that way any point in between these torches we can actually get back. That's pretty cool. I don't really know exactly what the point of knowing that is, but I feel like we've accomplished something. I've learned the game. there, and we'll put one there. Why not? And then, like, maybe one here. And that'll be kind of our home away from home. Uh, for here, let's go ahead and make, like, a little section here. This will be floor two. But I, I will admit that on this main landing world, right, I'm kind of one of those people where it's like, why waste your resources on building above ground, like a bunch of, like a wooden house, in essence, when you can basically just dig out the ground and turn it into a house with, you know, pre-built walls. It's kind of like, that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. I mean, later when you're like, hey, I want to set up a colony. Because apparently you can do that now. I didn't know that. Um, but apparently you can set up like a co your own colony kind of thing. And actually, they said they've incorporated a way to do your own 
colony's quests. Like, NPCs that show up at your colony and stuff will actually do stuff. And I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, where did I put my platforms? There they are. Let's put a couple there. Alright. We've got ourselves a little abode. I don't really know why I'm digging all this out. I guess just to give myself a little breathing room. Ooh, let's try and catch a bug. Let's see what- there was bugs over here, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 I know. I hear ya, I hear ya. Food. Um, thank goodness for those... things. Okay. Um, we're hitting it, but it's not really doing anything. Oh! Okay. Note to self. You can shoot snails. Got it. Doesn't really seem to serve a purpose. Ooh, there's a bug. Isn't that a bug? Or is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. So that doesn't really do anything to them. It's kind of cool you get this little crosshair thing going on, though. I was kind of hoping for... Wow, sideways rain much. We're, we're in a straight-up storm going on here. I guess I probably should get some of this plant fiber, huh? Can't ever really... Since that makes med kits, you can't really have too much of those, I guess. I do... I am a little curious why so many things require... What is that? Wet. Okay. And can I... I guess there's a matter manipulator thing for that eventually, is getting water. Because that's the way it was at one point. Or was that a mod? That might have been a mod. I did play that modded series for so long, I don't really rec Whoa! Hi! There are a lot of you over here. Ow! Um, yeah, and I don't know if I actually recorded it or not. I don't think I did. I did get back and get my stuff, though. In case any of you were wondering. Ah! Now that's interesting. Those those pink guys with the horns, they didn't actually attack me earlier. Eh, he's catching up to me! Wow, all these things are angry with me right now. Um, The thing with the horns... Wow, you were persistent, dude! Back up off me. Boom. Chicken. Mm. Um, yeah. So anyways, on that random note, um, the, uh, the guys with the horns, though, they didn't actually attack me before, but now that it's nighttime, I guess they do. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not a good at all. Not good. Whew. That went better than I expected. Ha, ah, you're stuck. And these guys break apart. Oh, come on. I hate these birds already. I've been playing for like an hour and they're already like really annoying me. Yeah, these guys break into like smaller. They look like potatoes. like you're fighting potato. I actually wasn't sure if they were going to drop potatoes when I first encountered them. I was kind of like, are you going to like drop potatoes or something? Oh, and this is my little tunnel. I didn't feel like going over the, the hill anymore. Oh, jeez. Man, I, I gotta tell you what though. These birds, man. These little dudes are persistent. And annoying. I put that there earlier to get up over that. Um, I do think it would be wise 
to have these on standby. For like, I don't know, now. Seems like as good a time as any. Jeez, get away from me. Alright, I don't think I went much further. Actually, I didn't go any further than this. So, that seems like a good time to wrap up the episode. We're going to head back to the ship. Um, so, again, this is kind of a trial thing um, to see if there's anyone still interested in the game type of thing. Um, I know some of you had said you had wanted to see it a long time ago when I first stopped doing it, and honestly it was just one of those between view counts and stuff like that. It just wasn't really applicable for me at the moment. Uh, but I kind of wanted to come back to it because I, I missed playing it, and when it when I heard the announcement that it was going back into or it was going to full release and coming out of um, early access, I was like, yeah, I at least need to try it. At least need to give it another go, see what everybody thinks. So take that for what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on whether or not you'd like to see a renewed series on this again and go exploring the stars because. Honestly, if you don't, I'm just going to play it anyway because I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so it really just comes down to whether or not I record it or not. But let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.